A few weeks ago, I started a print-on-demand business selling van life canvases on Teespring, and today I am making an official Shopify website for my store and documenting the entire process. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg and I'm a content creator based in Pennsylvania. I'm a photographer and videographer and I'm also just getting into different ways of making money online. It's something that I've been interested in for the past couple months and I'm finally taking action on it. So if you're into that type of content, I recommend hitting that subscribe button. I know we're all stuck in the house recently, so I'm hoping to upload three videos this week. So stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified whenever Ever I post a new video. So if you watched my video two weeks ago about print on demand, you would know that I started a print on demand business and lost $75 on an Instagram shout out and an Instagram promotion. So today I'm going to make an update because I am officially starting its Shopify website and I want to document this process just in case you guys are looking to do the same thing or something similar. If you're familiar with Shopify, it's a really popular e-commerce platform because it's easy to use even as a beginner. I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in starting an online business. Full disclosure, it will be an affiliate link. So if you click it and then you sign up for Shopify, I will get a small commission. Anyways, if you guys haven't seen the print on demand video and you don't know what print on demand is, basically you create a store around most commonly a niche. You import products from Printful or Printify or any of the other print on demand apps that you can find on the internet. So I previously used Teespring because it was free to sign up and it's free for an account. Unfortunately, with Shopify, you do have a $29 a month subscription fee and then you also have to pay for the domain. So yesterday I bought the fanlifeinspired.com for $14.99 a year. In the last video, I spent $75 on a shout out on Instagram and then a promotion on Instagram. Add in the $14.99 domain and the $29 Shopify subscription and that is $118.99 so far that I've spent on this business. Today, we're focusing on creating the Shopify website. This isn't really a tutorial on Shopify, but if you're interested in creating a Shopify website, I think this video will help you because I'm going to be walking you through the entire process and I'm not an expert, but I have built websites on Shopify before. And I'm also going to be creating another Shopify store for a drop shipping project that I have coming up. I'm going to be making a video about that soon. I think that I found a winning product and I'm pretty sure. And no, it's not a mask. It's not hand sanitizer. It's not anything that has to do with the situation that's going on. I just want to put that out there. So yeah, since I made that last video, I haven't really done too much else with the business or the product. And I did get a lot of suggestions in the comments. So so I want to thank you guys and I'm probably going to be trying some of those suggestions. Basically, since then, I've just been focusing on organic growth, mainly on Instagram. I'm not planning on running any more paid advertisements for now. Now I'm finally going to hop into my Shopify account and start this website. So I'm going to start screen recording. I want to let you guys know something. The reason why right now this store is called I Love You X 100 is because I was creating this website because a couple weeks ago I read a tweet, I think about creating websites on Shopify and then listing them on Shopify's exchange marketplace. And I read about that as being a good side hustle. I'm not really doing that anymore. That's why this is called I Love You X 100. I don't know why it still says that as the domain because I bought the Van Life Inspired domain and I connected it. It might just take a few days to update. As you can see, I have four products here, three Van Life canvases that I imported last night when I made them on Printful and this necklace. So I'm going to delete the necklace because that's not what this store is about anymore. So I'm going to come to the theme, which I chose a simple one. Okay, so on the home page, it has a featured collection, which I want to be the canvases. Okay, so right now I'm going to focus on the product descriptions and trying to optimize them for SEO. I'm going to see you guys when I'm done writing these product descriptions and I'll let you guys know how that goes. <laughs> Thank you. 
just an update on how this is going. I'm kind of struggling with writing these. I'm probably gonna have to come back and rewrite them or at least add to them later. I just added all of the product descriptions to the products in my Shopify store. This one is for the one that says fill your life with adventures, not things. Pricing these for $50, which is if you go on the Teespring, you're gonna find them for I think a bit cheaper, like 30 I think it is, but Printful is a little bit more expensive to fulfill the orders. So that's why I had to increase the price a little bit. Hopefully Printful is the better quality. I can't wait until I start making sales or I can't wait until I like at least go back to my job and start making money because I really wanna buy all three of these canvases, show you guys the products because I'm so, I'm just so excited. And I wanna add more products to the store eventually. I don't have the money to do so right now. Now I'm gonna go back to the online store and start customizing the theme again. I'm going to start out listing these canvases for $45. Okay, so the profit is going to be $14 per canvas. Um, the profit margin is now 31.1%. As far as I know from the research that I've done on this, that's not great, but it's not terrible either. Since the store doesn't have any sales yet and I'm just setting it up, I want to start low and then whenever it starts to get sales, then I will raise the price. Now that we're in the Shopify website, like the layout editor, you can see how freaking simple it is to edit these websites. There's really not much you have to do. This is a really simple layout. That's why it's literally called simple. Right now, now that I'm pretty much done with the layout, I only have three products and that was really easy to just get the products up in design. Going to do more research on SEO and logistics of how to change the name of your Shopify website. So that's what I'm gonna do right now now quickly and I will see you guys I've been struggling a little bit with the technical side of Shopify. I'm not sure how to change the live theme because I just disabled the password, which means people can view my website now if they type in vanlifeinspired.com. But when you do that, you're going to see this, and this is not the Van Life website. This is the website that I was designing around that necklace when I was going to list this website onto the Shopify exchange platform. God, it changed dude it worked oh my god I was about to give up and create a whole nother store oh dude that was so simple I literally just had to press publish the store is actually published so anyone that goes on vanlifeinspired.com right now can see the store and this is what it looks like I'm really proud of it the product page looks good all right so I'm going to press the buy it now button and see what happens this is the simple Shopify checkout page everything is looking good right now you see how easy that was I literally created this store layout in like an hour I think it took me I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I'm going to come back and work on the SEO for the website Mom, the camera's on. Stop talking about that kind of thing. <laughs> Warm jello going down your throat when you had a sore throat was one of the best things ever. This is why I can't do my work up here. What is that? Is that Anybody work? Remember that apparently is is anyone going to watch this ever? <laughs> Okay, so I'm doing my research for the SEO and I think I have an idea of where I want to start. I'm watching a video by an e-commerce YouTuber that I watch quite often, Wholesale Ted. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to the video that I'm watching about SEO because I think that it's really good information and I'm going to take some of the tips in this video and implement them onto my website. Okay, so the whole time that I was upstairs, my computer was screen recording. I'm trying to save it now. This is an hour and 11 minutes of screen recording. I'm going to put the most accurate description of this product right in the beginning of the title. Another tip that I learned from the video that I just watched is to add image alt text. I don't know how to explain it, but it's sort of like naming the image since Google can't see the photos but it can read the words and the text that's why text is so important on your website you want to put as many keywords as possible as the image alt text for this photo I'm going to put van life canvas so now I'm going to do the same for this one
that's what I've done so far based on the video that I've watched. I was going to go through the process of writing the first blog post in this video, but I don't think that I'm going to have time just because I think that I need to do more research for the blog post. I wanna show you how the website turned out because I'm pretty proud of this. I added a little slideshow here. So yeah, that's where I want to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was valuable for you to go through this process of setting up the Shopify website with me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.